mess, but anyway. Hey everyone, it's me, Laura. It's been quite a while since I've did a haul video. Um, it's mainly because any time I've been to like Belfast shopping and stuff, I haven't really bought enough to do a haul. So what I've done is I've gathered everything that I've kind of bought from Primark in the last couple of visits. And plus I also, I'm going to do this in two parts and then I'm going to put it together now that I've figured out how to work it. So the first section of this is going to be my Funko Pops, which I've got from Forbidden Planet. I am currently waiting on my Harry Potter Quidditch one to come, but it's not released till next month, I don't think, or this month actually, so it hasn't came yet. When I do get my Harry Potter one, I'm going to do a complete haul of my Funko Pops, um, and I also need to get two more Disney Princess ones for my collection. But anyway, so I have four from I got from Forbidden Planet, and these are actually off the website, um, but um, they are in this shop. I did go to Belfast today and I was hoping to get Cinderella and Snow White in the Dis to sort of complete my Disney Princess collection but they had very limited Disney ones, I was kind of got it and they only had Ron and the Harry Potter ones as well. So the first one I'm going to show you, now these aren't in order, is my favourite Disney Princess and it's my Rapunzel one and I haven't taken her out of the box yet um, and she comes with Pascal and Pascal's actually separate. All these Funko Pops in Forbidden Planet are £10. And when I ordered, I don't can't remember if there was any delivery for these, but they're ten pound to buy. And Rapunzel, I love this. I when I first started collecting them, Rapunzel hadn't came out yet, and I was really gutted there wasn't one. So that's her, and she looks pretty. So I need to get her a case for her. Next is another one I haven't taken out of the box, just because Naveen, I think that's how you pronounce it, is also separate, and that's Tiana from Princess and the Frog. And it was really weird because I, or she wasn't due to be released until 31st of July and I was in Forbidden Planet the same week, no a week beforehand and they actually had her already so she had come out which I've got it so, so like I could have bought it earlier but no got her and she was one of the old ones that, the last ones to come out as well which I was quite surprised about. The next one and I've took this one out of the box is Sleeping Beauty or Aurora and again she was one of the last one that she only came out quite recently because the only one they had was Aurora from Magnificent and I think she looks like the girl out of Game of Thrones her Funko oh. and this is her she's really cute these are adorable but I've just noticed her head so I have to be careful with her I don't want her head to fall off but yeah that's about the size of them and I if do you collect Funkos? Do you keep them in the box or do you take them out? Um, at the minute I have most of my Disney Princess ones out. Oops. The last one out of Forbidden Planet is, and this one is another new release when it came out last month and it's Ariel, but it's human Ariel and she's got a gorgeous bow in her hair. Um, I don't really like the other Ariel one, the mermaid Ariel one, and that's why I waited till this one came out. Oh, she's gonna fall. And that is her box and um, you can get the other Ariel and I, I may get it at some point I think it's actually quite nice so that's my four Funkos um, I have to um, I am trying to wait until live action Beauty and the Beast comes out to get Belle although I probably will cave and get Belle at some point too because I have live, live action Cinderella and I really want the normal Cinderella one just because for the collection I think I'm waiting because I'm hoping it'll be very it's because of Emma Watson playing her so that is my Funkos so and they're all from Forbidden Planet I think the website is forbiddenplanet.co.uk and they I think they do free delivery but I'm not sure so that's the Funkos So part two of the video is stuff that I've bought from Pineland, um, but I bought in Belfast today, so this is like my Belfast shopping haul, and also my Disney store, which is only two purchases, and also my Lush Bath Bomb. So from Pineland, and I've lost my stickers. <laughs> so first is these really nice sweets, they're dark chocolate rollos. These are so nice. 
I'm not the biggest fan of normal rolls unless they're the mini ones, but these are so good and they're so nice. Um, I definitely would recommend these, especially if you like dark chocolate and if you like rolls, even better. So definitely try them. Another thing I got from Poundland is these Disney Princess stickers and there are 700 stickers in these. I'm doing, when I go to Disneyland Paris I am going to be doing a scrapbook of my trip and I'm collecting like stickers and things so that I can like jazz up a bit. And being a massive Disney Princess fan I had to get these. I don't know what they're like inside but I can tell that Cinderella is there and I think that's potentially Ariel but um, I might actually open these. I'm hoping that like the Rapunzel and stuff are in it because I have other ones and Rapunzel isn't in it. Oh, that's quite cool. Got like little bit, bits and oh, ah, Rapunzel's in it. I'm happy. You've got like Rapunzel, Aurora, and Snow White. And actually, I've just noticed each princess has a page. So you have the sleep Snow White page, and it has the dwarfs and everything, and the apples and stuff. So they're really cool. Next item from Poundland, and it's another chocolate item, and this is Galaxy Jewel. And this is the cookies and cream one. My mum got the caramel and shortbread one. And these were two for a pound. And this is so nice. Galaxy is my favourite chocolate anyway. I definitely would recommend the Galaxy Jill. Moving on from Pineland now to the Disney store. My, our Disney store in Belfast is... The best way to put it is rubbish. And it's the only one in the whole of Northern Ireland. And I was in looking for the hanging Christmas decorations. Um, just because I thought if they had them I could buy them rather than waiting to go to Paris because I break them. But I have two Sim Sims. The first one is Mickey. And these are £3 in the Disney store. They're three fifty in Clinton's. So they're for some strange reason. I've got Mickey. I already have Minnie and I have Marie from the Aristocats. And the other one I have is Cinderella. Which I think is really cute. I'm not really fussed in the princess ones. Um, I haven't purchased any but I do like this one. So I do, and these are £3, so they are. The last thing before I do my pre-mark haul is Lush Bath Bomb. And I'd like to thank Alison for getting me into these. Um, these are 3 95 and I'm being very careful because this will cover my bed. And it is blue with pink, yellow and white and glitter through it. So I don't know what this is going to be like when I put it in the bath. But I think it's going to be pretty darn cool. And I'm going to dust everywhere. Okay. So that is my Pineland random thingy-mabobs. So I'm now on to part three and this is my pre-mark haul. Um, as I said in part, another part that this is collect collectively all the stuff I've brought from pre-mark quite recently. So it's Belfast's pre-mark and my own pre-mark. The first thing I'm going to show you is my pyjamas I got for going to Disneyland Paris um, I just, I, though I have loads of pyjamas I thought I'll get some new ones to take with me to Disneyland and obviously they are Disney and they are Minnie Mouse ones and they are, the top is navy, it's long sleeved and it has purple spotty M and there's Minnie and then they have bottoms these are so soft and I have actually a few pairs of these they wash really well, they're comfy and they are £11 so there, I did for Disneyland Paris because I'm going in November. Also keeping with the Disney themed, I always carry tissues about with me everywhere I go just because, you know. And I got some Disney Princess ones. These were a pound I believe. And yeah, they're just blue my tissues but they do, they're quite cute just to have in my handbag. Next I got, I went to Belfast today and I changed my handbags over and I had a hairbrush. So I went and got just this tiny little hairbrush which is a pound and it'll slot into my handbag quite easily just to carry about. Next up, and now these have been worn because I've had them a bit a while and these are Hogwarts little slippers and I've, yes they have been wearing these a lot and they have Harry Potter on the bottom and that's kind of like grip and they're so soft, they're really comfy and then they have got the Hogwarts crest just there. These were £4 I believe, I think, and they're so comfy and so soft. They actually have quite a, a good selection of like Harry Potter pyjamas in it at the minute and they 
or like them done that I saw me swear I'm up to no good. It's a quote at the minute which you think being a Weezy Twins fan I'd be jumping for joy at but the tops are like bag really like baggy this way and really cropped which I don't like. Then they have the leggings aren't that nice and then the jogging bottom style ones but I have so many pairs of pyjamas I couldn't justify buying another pair. Next are two tops I bought um, a while back. Um, their Disney tops and Harry Potter tops are fantastic and I honestly could spend a fortune on them. And the first one is a Lion King one and it says Akuna Matata on it and it has Timon, Pumbaa and Zimba on it. And it's just peach. This one is actually really baggy. It's very thin material but it's fine. Does the job and it was £6. Which will do brilliantly for me going to Disneyland. Next one I got, this was from my own Primark. And it's just a plain grey Hogwarts one. Just very simple. Again, it was six pound. Um, the next item I got, and I was really disappointed with Primark and Belfast today because I was expecting to go in and see loads of like Disney hoodies and come into winter because my local Primark has hoodies, this hoodie, but Belfast didn't. And I was really, really disappointed because I thought they might have done better, but no. This is in my own Primark and it's a Mickey Mouse hoodie and there he is and the year that Mickey was released it's got red in the hood which I think is so nice and it has Mickey Mouse on the back of it this was £12 and there's matching jogging bottoms for this this I thought would be really cool to take to Disneyland with me but it's quite thin material and um, but it will be cool because I haven't actually got a Disney hoodie um, what's next? What's next? So, the Belfast trip today, um, I was quite disappointed with Primark, mainly because I was looking for like another Disney hoodie or a Harry Potter hoodie. I was also looking for like a little small like Disney themed makeup bag just to pop in my handbag. They didn't have any Disney bags at all and I also was looking for a Disney rucksack that I'd seen for Paris but again they didn't have it. Um, and I was, they hadn't very many Harry Potter tops or anything. I did buy a few things though. I bought myself a handbag, which I never do. My hand, I usually use the same handbag all the time. But I thought I'll get a mature handbag to use. And I've seen this one and it's so pretty. It's like a stone colour with baby pink. And this bit opens up. There's a good size pouch in there. Which, and then little handle. And then a zip pouch just there, plenty of space to carry everything and it has a strap which I like to carry about with me and for a te for £10 I thought this was so good and it's a nice size, it's a really strong quality, it looks quite expensive and it's just got a got little de simple gold bar across there, so yes, was it? Yes it was £10, you can't go wrong with a handbag for £10. Next was two dressy tops I bought. Um, I've kind of been looking for just clean dressy top to wear for work because I live in my Disney Harry Potter tops and I think I might have to venture out of them at some point. Um, so I got this one and it's like, it's classed as red but it's more like a whiny red and this was £9. It's Quite nice material actually, quite floaty. Um, I thought it'd be nice just with my with dark jeans or I have a denim dark denim skirt at the minute I thought, I thought it'd be quite nice with. And actually I have a pair of plum, like dark plum jeans I thought this would be really nice with. And then just wear like a navy blazer or if my niece lets me borrow her leather jacket. It's really nice. It's a lovely length too because I find a lot of tops that can be cropped. And then the next dressy top I got was in blush it's called the colour it's like a nude pink and again it's just plain and this was six pound and this bit is like a velvety effect I think the front of it and then the back of it's just like the same material as my Akuna Matata top again I think I can wear this with jeans wear it with a skirt I have a, a skirt it's like one of those, is it scuba skirt? It's one of the ones that kind of will go below your knee. And it's my mum's birthday soon and I think we're doing something for her birthday. So it'd be really nice I think with it because it's got that colour in it. 
again you can dress up or dress it down and for £6 it's not going to break the bank and of course I couldn't go to Primark and Belfast without purchasing at least a Disney top and I'm really annoyed because I still can't get my hands on that I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm a Disney princess top it's getting on my nerves because I need that t-shirt in my life and I'm not going to buy it off eBay for £15 wouldn't it so I did get the next best thing and it says still waiting for my Disney prince which is weird because I'd be quite happy with one of the Weezy twins from Harry Potter but if you know every girl I think dreams of having her prince charming at some time um, £6 and although I'm going in November I still probably will wear this but I'll have a hoodie or over the top of it but it would be quite cool if I, if I was to do the princess dining and I could wear it but who knows and these are really big fitting, I guess the six. But it'd be quite cool if they did them and it says I'm waiting for my Weasley or something, you know, the way they do t-shirts, like that quite cool. The only Harry Potter tops they did have was a whiny coloured one, which is I saw me swear I'm up to no good on it. Didn't have my size in it. They also had a really crappy wine colour Hogwarts logo top. And they had like a bluey one, which looked like it had been bleached which I didn't really like. I think it had this sort of crest idea on it. There was a really nice Peter Pan top, um, I get, which was cream and it had a gorgeous quote on it and I think I think it was Wendy possibly. One of, it was either one of the characters was in gold, like holographic gold, which was gorgeous. Again, they didn't have my size. So I'm going to have to check my own pre-mark at some point to see if they have any of them in. And the last item from pre-mark I bought which is for coming into winter um, and hopefully for my Disney pop, my trip to Paris is a new coat. Mainly because my winter coat from last year is a bit wrecked. Um, hopefully this will be warm enough when I go to Paris. Um, I will be wearing a hoodie underneath it and several other layers. But it's just black. I went for black because it's not as easily dirtied as the grey that I was looking for. It's just black it's quite heavy but not really heavy that it's uncomfortable to wear it's got fur in the hood which will keep my ears warm if it's cold i can put my hood up i um, don't plan on wearing disney ears a lot when i'm in paris just because they'd hurt my head it's got first there and i'm gonna have to stand up with this it has a little bit of it's quite a long coat so it covers my bum and then it pulls in here now this is a size 12 and i'm Usually between a size 8 and 10 in coats, but this is perfect fit on me. I did try it on over the top of the leather jacket. It's quite, you know, it's, it fits, but it will be great if I'm wearing a hoodie. Like a hip hoodie with like plenty of layers underneath it. It should be okay in the rain. Hopefully I won't be out in the rain that much, but it should be fine. But yeah, £25, which I think is brilliant for a coat for winter. Um, I'm not one for spending... 50 odd pound in a coat although I did buy one for 40 out of H&M one year and I, I got so much wear out of it because over in this country it, you need a coat. It does come in like a khaki green but um, last year every single person in my town seemed to own a khaki winter coat and it was kind of a uh, no you're not ever don't ever get one don't uh, yeah so I was put off wearing them because so many people were wearing them and it was just like a massive trend so I went for black just because it's easier kept clean it goes with everything and that is it I think is everything I bought I've pre-mark um so yeah any questions feel free to comment below if you want to know the prices of anything leave a comment below so bye